Hi, everyone, and welcome to Next. I'm Andy Goodmans, General Manager and VP of Engineering for Databases at Google Cloud. And I'm excited to share with you what's next for builders and data engineers. Later in this session, Scott Wong, VP of Infrastructure at Credit Karma, will join me to talk about their journey on Google Cloud. Today, every organization on the planet is going through some form of digital transformation. At the heart of this always-on, digitally connected world lie mission-critical, data-driven applications. Powering each of these applications are operational databases that must be reliable, resilient, available, performant, and safe for users. At Google Cloud, our mission is to accelerate every organization's ability to digitally transform. And a large part of that is helping customers innovate faster with a unified, open, and intelligent data platform. We do this by focusing on four key areas. First, a unified and integrated data cloud for all your data. Second, a commitment to openness, leveraging open source and open standards. Third, infusing AI and ML across data-driven workflows. And lastly, empowering builders to be more productive and impactful. Let's start with the first focus area, creating a unified and integrated data cloud for your operational and analytical data. At Google, our mission is to make information universally accessible and useful, as evidenced by our most popular globally available products like YouTube, Google Search, Maps, and Gmail. These products leverage a uniquely integrated and scalable data architecture. We've taken these learnings and brought them into Google Cloud, making it the best place for all your data workloads. The way we've built our core services, such as Cloud Spanner, Bigtable, AlloyDB, and BigQuery is truly differentiated. These services leverage Google's common infrastructure, which is unique in the industry. Our highly scalable distributed storage system our disaggregated compute and storage, and our high-performance Google-owned global networking allow us to provide industry-leading, tightly integrated operational and analytical data services. Today, for example, Spanner, our globally distributed relational database service, processes over 2 billion requests per second at peak. It has more than six exabytes of data under management, and offers up to five nines availability SLA, which is simply remarkable. While Bigtable, our highly performant, fully managed NoSQL database service, processes over five billion requests per second at peak, and it has more than 10 exabytes of data under management, and also offers up to five nines availability. These services offer industry-leading availability, scale, and global reach. Building on this, customers need to have easy movement of data within the data cloud. We heard you, and that's why we announced, in preview, DataStream for BigQuery. DataStream for BigQuery provides easy replication of data from operational database sources, such as AlloyDB, Postgres, MySQL, and Oracle, directly into BigQuery. This is special because we worked closely with the BigQuery team to develop an optimized integration to replicate database updates in real time at very low latency. Setup is just a few simple clicks. Data Stream for BigQuery is Google's next big step towards realizing our vision for the unified data cloud, combining databases, analytics, and machine learning into one single platform. But don't take my word for it. Let my colleague Gabe show you how easy it is to get started with data stream for BigQuery. Creating a stream just requires a name, unique ID, region, source, and destination. Today, we're capturing Postgres to BigQuery. One of the great things about data stream is it shows you the prerequisites for your source right in the UI, so you know what you need to prepare before starting the streaming. 
Connection profiles are used to define your source and destinations. They represent the information required to connect to an instance, like the host IP, username, and password. We've got one ready to go for the Postgres source. Once we verify we can connect, in the next step, I can customize which schemas and tables we want to bring over into BigQuery. I'll just grab two tables from our employee's schema. Destination profiles, similarly to the source, can be created beforehand. We can define a prefix here so it's easy to see which data is coming from our Postgres source. Summary looks good. One last validation check to be sure we haven't missed anything. Create and start, and right away I can start using the Explorer to see my data that's come across into BigQuery. Wasn't that simple? And there is more. To continue on this theme of easy data replication from operational databases for use cases like analytics, event-based architectures, compliance or archival, we're announcing today in preview big table change streams. This capability joins our already existing recently launched spanner change streams. With change streams, you can track writes, updates, and deletes so that they can be replicated to downstream systems in real time. You will see us help make your journey on our data cloud simpler as we continue to provide out-of-the-box data movement. The second focus area is our continued commitment to open source and open standards for increased flexibility and portability without vendor lock-in. We offer managed services that are fully compatible with the most popular open source engines, such as MySQL, Postgres, and Redis. We help manage the complexity of running your databases to increase your team's agility and reduce risk. And we don't stop there. We want to help you break free from legacy proprietary databases with expensive and restrictive licensing. And in the process, help you modernize to open standards and open APIs in the cloud. Postgres, an open source database, has emerged as the leading alternative to legacy proprietary databases because of its rich functionality, ecosystem extensions, and enterprise readiness. It's not surprising that millions of users across industries have adopted Postgres. We're focused on making Google Cloud the best place to run your Postgres workloads. We offer you not one, not two, but three fully managed services that support the Postgres interface. First, Cloud SQL for Postgres. It is our enterprise-ready, fully managed relational database service. You get the same experience of open source Postgres with the strong manageability, availability, and security capabilities of Cloud SQL. And you can use the same service APIs to also manage your MySQL and SQL Server databases. It's no surprise that Cloud SQL is used by more than 90% of the top 100 Google Cloud customers. Second, AlloyDB is our fully managed Postgres compatible database service, ready for your top tier workloads and for modernizing your legacy proprietary databases in the cloud. In our performance tests, AlloyDB is more than four times faster than open source Postgres and two times faster than Amazon's comparable Postgres compatible service for transactional workloads. It also delivers up to 100 times faster analytical queries than standard Postgres. And open isn't just about our technology, it's also about developing an open ecosystem of partners. AlloyDB already integrates with many leading technology solutions and has a fast growing ecosystem of partners with expertise ready to support your deployments. And finally, we've also added a Postgres interface for Spanner, our transformative relational database with unlimited global scale, strong external consistency, and up to five nines availability. With the Postgres interface for Spanner, developers can take advantage of familiar tools and skills from the Postgres ecosystem. And to further democratize access to Spanner, we recently announced a free trial to give builders an easy way to try out Spanner at no cost. Get started building with Spanner today. With these capabilities, we've made Google Cloud the best home for all your Postgres workloads. 
And to make it easy for you to take advantage of our open data cloud, we have simplified our migration approach with the right methodology, tooling, and support to help accelerate your journey. Take advantage of the program today. The third focus area is around how we are infusing AI and ML across data-driven workloads. We use AI and ML across our database technologies to make our services more intelligent. Capabilities such as Cloud SQL cost recommenders and AlloyDB Autopilot enable DBAs and DevOps teams to manage performance and capacity for large fleets of databases. In addition to infusing AI and ML into our databases, we're providing integration with Vertex AI, our AI and ML platform, to enable model inferencing directly within the database transaction. I'm therefore excited to announce today, in preview, the integration of Vertex AI with Spanner. You can now use a SQL query in Spanner to call a model in Vertex AI. With this integration, both AlloyDB and now Spanner can simply call Vertex AI models using SQL in operational transactions, allowing data scientists to build their models easily in Vertex AI and developers to access these models using the SQL query language. All these AI and ML capabilities can allow you to simplify management of your databases and enable builders to deliver intelligent applications. Our final focus area is around empowering builders to be more productive with innovative, one-of-a-kind developer experiences. Industry-leading services such as Cloud Firestore are loved by developers because of how fast one can build an application end-to-end. -end. Now, more than 4 million databases have been created in Firestore, and Firestore applications power more than 1 billion monthly active end-users using Firebase Auth. We've also been pushing the envelope on database operations with observability features across our key services. We've introduced Cloud SQL Query Insights for Postgres and MySQL. In addition, we make Cloud SQL Cost Recommenders generally available and introduce Postgres System Insights in Preview. Today, we're excited to announce the preview of security and performance recommenders for Cloud SQL. These capabilities help builders optimize their database configurations and improve their security posture. Now let's see our UX leader, Katz, demo of Cloud SQL Insights in action. Insights helps me investigate and detect problematic queries and find the root cause of the problem from a single pane of glass. System Insights helps me understand the overall health of my databases. I can immediately see that the P99 of CPU utilization is at 100%. In looking at the query latency and CPU utilization graphs, I can see regular latency spikes, indicating that there are problematic queries causing high CPU utilization. To understand this further, I can navigate to Query Insights. Looking at the top level Query Insights dashboard, I am immediately drawn to the database's load graph. It confirms that there are several problems, including one that started around 9.15. The colors in the graph help me see that there's an increase in I.O. weight and an even larger increase in lock weight. Traditional monitoring tools only provide a query-centric view of performance. Insights provides in-context visualization to find which application code caused the problem. For example, the tags table is especially helpful to me as a developer, since this application was built using Django's ORM rather than by writing the SQL queries directly. Insights uses SQL Commenter, an open telemetry standard providing instrumentation to augment SQL from frameworks. This first entry for the payment driver subsidy controller and the demo send subsidy route looks like it's the problem. With this context, I can go look at the source code now to investigate further. I hope you enjoyed that demo and can now see how we aim to make our database services easy to use to help every builder focus their energy on innovation and differentiation. We've talked through a lot today. So now let's hear from Scott Wong, VP of Infrastructure at Credit Karma to learn how they've reduced operational burden and cost 
with Google's Data Cloud. Scott, welcome. We're glad to have you here today. Thanks for having me, Andy. Excited to be here. Tell me, Scott, who is Credit Karma and why did you choose Google Cloud? In 2007, Credit Karma was founded during the last housing crisis with a mission to be the consumer technology platform focused on helping our members achieve financial progress. And over the last 15 years, we've really built this around free credit scores, providing over 4 billion credit scores to our consumers across the US, UK, and Canada. And today, nearly 130 million members use our product. But financial progress to our members means much more than just credit reports. We are the go-to destination for everything related to financial goals. And to provide this, we provide personalized data-driven insights to our members to feel more confident about their major money decisions. And at the center of these insights is our data models and data systems, all being powered by Google Cloud Services today. Our cloud migration journey started almost six years ago. On the left-hand side is our infrastructure and our traditional data centers before we moved to cloud. And on the right-hand side, you can see is our current infrastructure in Google Cloud Services. We started moving to cloud with our data warehouse and that moving to BigQuery. And then we started methodically started moving down the stack to our whole recommendations pipeline. Dataflow, Bigtable, and the AI platform were all part of that migration. You can also tell in the middle of the screen, we have a reverse ETL process. Our user store in BigQuery serves those features into Bigtable and then gets scored or recommended through our modeling scoring service all on GKE. Those recommendations get to our members through our product 63 billion times in predictions a day. And today we think there's even more opportunity for future innovation with the possibility of Spanner and Vertex AI uh, using in our recommendation system. Oh, how are you using Google's data cloud today for your key use cases? And what are some business benefits you've achieved by moving to Google Cloud? One, we really focus on making our data scientists as efficient as possible. And that meant simplifying access to our users' feature store, as well as deploying their models as quickly as possible. To give you some sense of scale, today we deploy over 700 models a week, as opposed to pre-cloud, it was almost 10 a quarter. Additionally, in experimentation, we do over 7x more experiments today than we did before cloud. And with the help of Bigtable and BigQuery, we have 10x more features deployed daily through our batch data. These gains can be attributed to what we call our unified model training, powered by BigQuery, Bigtable, Dataflow, and Google's AI platform. Nice. What makes Spanner appealing to you for your operational workloads? We're considering Spanner for our primary relational database to reduce engineering toil, drive higher efficiency and reliability to our core mission-critical production database tier. We're a fast-growing company you need to scale, and we think Spanner provides some interesting advantages in their multi-region, global consistency, and five nines availability offering natively through the product. This would be one of our most complex migration processes, moving live production data into uh, a new database tier, and so it will take a lot of engineering effort. We look forward to working with the Spanner product team on this. Thank you so much for that conversation, Scott. I really appreciate you joining us today. Thank you for having me, Andy, and I enjoyed being part of Google Next. As you can see from all we've spoken about today, the future of data has endless possibilities. Tune in to all our sessions at Next for more details on the announcements you heard today. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of Next.